Let's bring in Brendan Julian from Fox Cricket. And really, on top of the world, yet again, one of the most dominant teams in world sport, you'd have to say, Brendan. Yeah, good to talk to you, Karen. Look, you're spot on. I think they're the best sporting team, no doubt, in Australia for the last 25 years across all formats. Um, and they are superstars. And they've led the way in cricket and women's cricket right around the world. And I think that's a recognition of uh, Meg Lanning and, and, and the coaching staff and a lot of the players uh, that have been involved in this team, not only for the last five to 10 years, but also for the last 15 years as well. I think their structures are really good um, and their professionalism is outstanding. And, you know, full full credit to, to the women's cricket team uh, in Newlands last night. Um, it was great to watch. And, you know, they, they've set the benchmark and I think that's great because they're, they're inspiring a lot of young cricketers out there to get out there and play cricket, which is what, what we want. Indeed they are. And the South African captain herself saying, yes, they, they are the benchmark. They're annoying, <laughs> she said, but they are the benchmark that the rest of the world marks themselves upon. Now, the uh, the other side of the cricketing story at the moment, a bit more difficult for the Australian men's team facing the third test, but there's still a lot to play for, including a chance to lock up the position in the World Test Championship final, Brendan. Yeah, yeah, you're spot on. There is a lot to play for. I think there's a, I think there's a really lot to play for for this team in terms of opportunity. You know, you've got a couple of young guys that are playing their second and third test matches. You've got Mitchell Stark coming back into the side. You've got Steve Smith kind of captain the side. So... There is wonderful opportunity for players that want to stamp their foot on this side and get themselves into this team. You've got Travis Head at the top of the order, then you've got Renshaw in the side as well. So there's lots of opportunity for this Australian cricket team. You're right. Um, if they lose 4-0 and Sri Lanka beat New Zealand in their series 2-0 um, in that one, then Australia will lose that opportunity to play in the Test Championship in England. And they'll probably take on India. So it, it, it's unlikely that Australia will miss out, but... You know, given the third test outing on Wednesday night, Kieran, uh, there is a lot to play for for a lot of these players in this side. Indeed, and uh, very much looking forward to it, the the, uh, the, the third test. But two down, uh, Pat Cummins won't be there. Thankfully, Mitchell Stark will be back just quickly, Brendan. That's always a good thing to have Stark in the lineup. Yeah, you're right. You're spot on. I, I think they'll um, they'll relish him coming back into the side. Yes, he'll be a little, little bit rusty, no doubt about it, but they need to show a bit of aggression with the ball. I think Cam Green will come back in. He'll bat six, uh, and they'll give them a, another bowling option as well for the Australians. Um, batting's the key. You know, they've got to make sure they sort out the sweep shot, the cross-bat shots on indoor, because this pitch, Karen, will turn a lot more than the first two test matches. So this is going to be a <laughs> tough game for the Australians, but they've got to get ahead of it. Yeah, looking forward to seeing uh, our young spinner there, Murphy, and how he goes. He's had a good start to his test career. Brendan Julian, great to see you. We'll see you next week.